Hello and welcome to How Not to Play Pokemon Edition. Why do I call my channel that? Well, probably because I have no freaking clue what I'm doing, and you should absolutely not emulate me in any way, shape, or form. In fact, if you see me doing anything wrong, making any misplays, just punting games out of nowhere, please feel free to comment below and tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong and what I should have done better. So today I, we have our daily challenge of knocking out five Pokemon with water types. So sure, let's go ahead and play a water deck. Why not? Looks like we've got our daily bonus here. Five tokens. Alright, so we are going to continue the trainer challenges that we've started uh, from our tutorial. We have done uh, Zach and Mick. We are now on to Calvin. He's using a water deck also. I don't think a water mirror match is generally what we want to do though. So going through my water deck, it looked like most water types are weak to either lightning or grass for some reason I don't know but I think to get the best play we should do our lightning deck here I mean we're not gonna make progress on our quest but we'll have a better chance of winning the game uh, let's see we've got an Eevee, a Spearow, a Voltorb damn that just fucking killed what that's a terrible attack why would you I don't know um we'll start with the Eevee and we'll go ahead and put these others on the bench, why not? Magnemite. Well, once again, all his first attack does is paralyze. So we'll go ahead and put some energy on Eevee. Look at the top two, put one in your hand. Okay. We will draw the draw card and discard the energy. And we'll go ahead and draw three. So we've got another Voltorb, a Rattata. Uh, I've already played a support this turn, so I'll have to wait on her. I guess we'll just attack. Alright, he's got a full board now. Oh my god, that is more shit right there. Okay, he's weak to grass, so it doesn't really matter what I put out here. Sure, we'll bike again. Alright, we'll pull the Firo because I've got the Spiro to upgrade it from. Uh, we'll go ahead and put an energy on Voltorb so that he can attack. We'll go ahead and evolve Spiro. And I've done everything I can do here, so let's shuffle. Sure, we'll go ahead and put him out. Why not? Um. So let's go ahead and see if I can paralyze. Nope, of course not. Why would I win a coin flip? Well, that one wasn't as devastating, but still. God, that hurt. Alright, well, let's do it. Because I'm not going to survive another attack anyway, so I might as well take him out with me. Of course. So I'm paralyzed and can't do shit. So we'll go ahead, attach some energy anyway. So 
so that I can maybe do something next turn. Of course. He has not lost a fucking coin flip yet, you know? This is some fucking horse shit. So now he's gonna start... Oh, he's still gonna... Really? Fucking really? Three goddamn turns in a row. What the hell? So I literally can't do anything. Oh wow, he finally lost a coin flip. Oh, nice. Lovely. Great. Yep, go ahead. What? Why didn't you put that on your active Pokemon? Oh my god, he finally lost a coin flip. Well, I am out of energy, so I cannot do Drill Run. So I'm just going to have to peck his little fucking eyes out. Why is he not attacking? Why is he only using bubble? Why is he not using crab hammer? Look at the bottom seven? Of course. Alright, if I ever get a turn I can kill you now. Hey, hey, he fizzled. All right. So he's only got 30 damage. So I don't actually have to use Drill Run to kill him. I can just use Peck. Oh, fuck. I should have saved that energy. Oh, never mind. Drill Run removes one of their energy, not one of mine. Why did he pull out the one that has no energy attached to it? Okay, the AI is just being stupid. He should have done at least, like, maybe that one, or either of these two that have energy attached to it, such as this one that has the reduced damage from attacks attached to it. I don't understand. The AI is just being stupid and fucking giving me the game. Sure, let's see what I can get from my Ultra Ball. Let's see, we'll go ahead and discard one of those, because I've already got two on the field, and we'll discard a Rattata. I've already got one of those on the field. And we'll grab Firo, because it's the only evolution in the deck, apparently. Alright, well, I'm fully upgraded, so... or fully energized. Let's go ahead and drill your ass. Why did it not? Well, I guess it couldn't have done its actual attack because it needs four energy. But I don't know. The it's being really stupid. So we'll do that evolution, even though it doesn't matter. And we'll go ahead and drill. He does an evolution. He finally does some damage to me. Um, sure, I'll go ahead and heal the damage off because why not? I got nothing else to do.
See, he should have done his attack. I mean, 80 damage, that would have... Well, it wouldn't have killed me, but it would have done a good chunk. And he swapped it out with somebody with no energy. I mean, the computer is literally just giving me the game. Like, I don't know, it's fucking stupid. I mean, that's a pretty good attack to get Pokemon that have already, you know, been discarded and shuffle them back in so that you can pull them back out again. I mean, that's a good attack. But once again, he put out a Pokemon with no energy attached to it. So I guess we'll just finish this game out then. And we got a Raticate, which is going to be a Rattata uh, evolution. Couple tokens. Yeah, Pharaoh was the MVP. Alright, so let's try for Ali. We'll go ahead and use my water deck because, well, the, the daily quest is to kill stuff with water types. Alright, let's see what we've got here. A Psyduck? I need two for Stampede or Eevee. Uh, let's start with Eevee. Switch your deck for a Pokemon with the same name as something already in play. Oh wow, alright, well, yeah, you go. Get all the Zubats you want, I suppose. Oh, I really should have played my uh, electric deck, shouldn't I have? They're all weak to lightning, or electric, or whatever. Well, I played the wrong deck. Alright, well that ball wasn't so great. All I found was another Eevee. So that just attacks a random Pokemon for 10. Alright, well... I think I'll save my Scarf for my Sea King. And we'll just uh, go for a Tackle. Oh, that's nice. Another Psyduck. Really? I'm hesitant to use Lunge because I have a history of losing coin flips. I actually think I'm going to wait and see if I can find a Goldeen before I start throwing energy out. Yep, yep. And that's gonna happen. That that was the same one. You randomly hit the exact same Pokemon. Are you serious? Maybe it's not random and he only attacks the bench. I don't know. We'll see. It seems like he's only attacking the bench. It sounds like it's supposed to be random, but it doesn't say it random, so maybe he can just pick which one to attack, and he just always goes after the Psyduck. Alright, we got our Goldeen. So now we can put Goldeen out, put a Scarf on it. I can evolve it next turn. So 
if I retreat Eevee, I can put Goldeen straight out. I'll have to attach energy to it now, though. And then I can charge. Kill Zubat, take 10 damage myself, and get a card. Alright. Oh! There's my Vaporeon. I was looking for you. Oh, and he's got a Golbat. Really? Alright, well, that sucked. We'll go ahead and evolve Eevee, we'll go ahead and evolve Goldeen. We'll not bother putting out Psyduck, because he'll just fucking die. Why did I put a second energy on him, just to heal him? Well, since I healed him, I can now do Soaking Horn. What? That should have done 80? That should have done 80. Why did that... What the fuck? If this Pokemon was healed during the... Oh, because I healed it before I evolved it. That is fucking retarded. Okay, so now it's healed as a Sea King, and Soaking Horn is charged up. Alright. That was stupid. Now he's gonna kill Psyduck? Why didn't he kill Psyduck? Seriously, he was one damage counter away from dying. Why did you not... Alright, the uh, opponent is just giving me the game again. I'll hold off on that. Hold off on that. Go ahead and do a reckless charge to put some damage on me that I can heal off. I still don't know why he's not killing Psyduck. The AI is just being stupid again. I don't think that does anything. I think I've got all my evolutions out already. Yep, I was right. Okay, so he's only got 10 HP left, so there's no need to really do much of anything. Okay, that's fine. You can go ahead and splash him because... Oh, Magikarp! There you go. What's this do? Two energy cards. Alright, yep. Don't mind if I do. Because if I put energy on Seeking, the Scarf heals him. Which then powers up Soaking Horn to do 90 fucking damage and one shot. Thank you for hitting me and doing damage so that now I can... Ooh, what's this? Oh. Yeah, I don't need that. So that I can attach energy, heal it with the scarf, and do 90 damage with Soaking Horn to one-shot you. Are we seeing a theme here? Alright, so I wonder if it'll work anyway. Does he still get healed even if he doesn't have damage on him? 
I'm guessing not. Nope, you actually have to remove damage in order for him to heal. Oh well, that's fine. It was a good experiment. Because, yeah, he's not going to kill any of my Pokemon because the AI is being stupid. He's got 40 HP left, Reckless Charge wins the game. And I get a Lapras basic Pokemon. Alright. And I completed my quest. Or my daily challenge. Yep, there we go. Oh, I got a pack from it. Oh, it leveled up. So I can now use a water coin to flip. A brilliant stars pack. Alright. Alright, he's playing energy or lightning so I don't have anything that's necessarily strong against uh, lightning types so I'll just use my fire deck because I like fire holy shit that's a lot of energy alright well I guess ponytail or bust oh good I got a Vulpix so we'll go ahead and put experience share on Vulpix just in case Ponyta dies to Voltorb. Returning Flames does nothing because I don't have a discard pile, so we'll just do live coal. Oh, I can't because I go first. I can't attack on the first turn. Apparently he can't attack on the first turn either because he lost his coin flip. Oh, paralyzed. God damn it. I fucking hate paralyzed. Alright, sure. I like that. Uh, I have no reason to put energy on anything. Because if I put energy on Vulpix, then my experience share will be a waste. Because Vulpix only needs one energy. And Ponytail only needs one energy. So we'll just attack a whole bunch of times. Are you serious? You used a big explosion with no bench. You just killed yourself. How dumb is this AI? Well, I got a Flareon though, which is pretty cool. I mean, the AI just freaking gave me that debt, gave me that game. That was just freaking retarded. All right, well, let's keep going. If hopefully they're all that easy. Okay, so this is a fighting type deck. I don't know what fighting type is weak to. So, we'll just keep going with my fire deck. So it doesn't have a whole lot of Pokemon that are weak to fighting types, so we'll just go ahead and play it in. Alright, opponent goes first. Good to know. Opponent goes first. Okay, what do we have here? Arcanine evolves from Growlithe, but I do not have a Growlithe. So, we'll keep Ponyta out because Returning Flames is more of a later game card. So we'll use Vulpix first, and we'll go ahead and put these two on the bench. See, he put down a Hitmonlee, which did not, oh, because it was his first attack, his first turn. So I don't like him doing 30 damage when Machop will just do 10. So I'm actually going to use Roar here to swap them out.
Flip a coin, search your deck for a Pokemon. Alright, because I really need that Growlithe. Fuck you! This is not a fight that Vulpix is gonna win. Oh, especially not now. Alright, so we got Rapidash. So I can evolve Ponyta. Which is good because Vulpix is about dead. Um, it doesn't matter what I do here because if I do swap out Machop, the only way Vulpix survives is if he has no more energy in hand. Which is a possibility, I suppose. But I can come back with Fire Blast to do 70, which will kill Machop, but would not kill Machoke. Well, it will if I do 10 here. So that's pretty much my line. I can swap them out and Rapidash Machop, or I can attack and kill Machoke. Let's see what happens. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. We'll bring Rapidash out. We'll go ahead and drop those two into my bench. And now we will Fire Blast. Hey, uh, hey, I like that town map. Okay, that hurts. Energy, energy, please. Nope. Alright, well, that's energy. Alright, so I got my two energy back. Fire Blast is not going to actually kill Hitmonlee, but I shouldn't die on the crackback, so... He is now in death range. There's my Growlithe. So I am 30 away from death, which would be one punch from Hitmonlee. Uh, he might be able to lunge. I think I'm going to go with my Growlithe here. I'm going to start powering him up. Assume that Rapidash is going to die at some point and just start doing kicks. I will take the energy. Switch your deck for support and energy. Yes, please. Alright, so we'll get a free energy out of that. And I'm going to go back on my original plan. Since Machop has 70 HP and Fire Blast does 70 damage. Let's just go ahead and one-shot Chop. I can still get another energy card here. To power up Arcanine for if and when Rapidash dies. Alright, I'm going to pull up Lysander and an energy card. I really should have put that energy on Rapidash, I could have one-shot him instead of dying next turn. Oh well. We'll give Arcanine some time in the spotlight.
so we'll go ahead and put the third on for flamethrower but I don't need to use it because they're at 30 HP so I can just flop on him damage increase so he's only got 70 HP, flamethrower does 90, he has no bench, so that's game. So, I wonder... So I've got three decks here, they each have gold league X of 12. Does each star represent one deck? Let's try using a different deck and see what happens. Yeah I think so because that check mark is up there and it's gone when I click on the blue. Okay opponent goes first, I have a Lapras. I don't think I'll start with Lapras, though. I'm going to start with Magikarp. Sure, Magikarp, go ahead and see what you can do. Way to go, Magikarp. Alright, well this one's resistance to fighting types, so hopefully he'll last a little bit longer. Um, so if I go ahead and do this now, I'll draw six, he'll draw five. So, I mean, he's still getting more cards than he has, but he'll be getting less cards than me. But I mostly wanted that energy. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop out Psyduck. Um... Let's see what we can get with this dive ball. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull Goldeen just because. I'm going to go ahead and put the scarf on Lapras because he's probably going to be my next one out. Way to go, Duo Duo. Well, that was something, huh? 110 HP, Boulder Crush deals 80, oh my god. I am so dead. Alright, well let's start charging up Lapras because she's gonna be... Oh, my only hope. Holy shit, I got heads! Yep. I'm not ready for Lapras yet. Alright, we'll pop out my other Daduo. Just for the weakness to absorb some hits. Ooh, Eevee. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade you. Sure, we'll 
make everything water. We'll give you water. I should have waited on that. Oh well. And now the duo dies, and I am severely in the hole. But I have a fully upgraded Lapras. Well, maybe not upgraded is the wrong word. Energized. Discard pile. How many do I have in my discard pile? Two. So I can get two energy back, which is, I guess, good. So we'll go ahead and grab those energies back, and we'll do Water Splash. Uh, even at base, this should be lethal. Which is good, because I have not won a fucking coin flip yet. All right, so that's gonna hurt like hell. Wait, are you serious? He actually lost a coin flip? All right, well, once again, Water Splash is lethal at base, so fuck that coin, because it's tails anyway. And this one has no energy on it, so I don't even know why he put it out. Why are you not using Barbarical? That is definitely the play to make, put, put Barbarical out. But whatever, we'll go ahead and Water Splash to one-shot this guy. Another useless Porygon. I mean, at least he evolved that one, so that it could do something. The hell? After he attacks with it, it goes back to his hand? Alright, I mean, I guess that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pop an energy on here, just to heal him up a little bit. Cause that's why I've been holding on to all those energies anyway. Uh, let's see, Water Splash is not going to kill him straight out. But if I swap him out with, say, Mind Fu, now it will. Oh, now I win the coin flip. Sure. And I get a Magic Card. There you go, that's the play you should have been making. And now I am fucked. Because now is when I should have used that to get rid of him. Oh my god. Yup, 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 and yup. So we're gonna go ahead and water splash and hope that I get a heads just so that my next Pokemon can kill him. Oh, you little bitch. All right, well, I am officially hosed. I don't have anything that can survive even one attack against him. Uh, no, Eevee's weak to... Weak to... Ah, fuck me. Yeah, I, I, there's no way I win this. I 
I needed heal, not energy. So, I mean, I can do Hydro Splash to kill him. But any attack kills Vaporeon. Literally any attack. And the computer puts out the one guy that doesn't have energy and can't attack. So, yep, once again, the AI just gives me the game. Alright, so that's how we get more stars here, which is cool. I got a duo. So... How could I have won that? Possibly by letting Lapras die a turn earlier and putting that initial energy down on Vaporeon? Uh, tell me in the comments below how I could have saved that. Okay, so how am I supposed to get four stars when I only have three decks? We'll use theme decks to compete against the AI trainers. Each time you defeat a trainer with a unique deck, you'll earn a star. I should have read this to begin with. The first three stars reward you with trainer tokens. Each star you earn makes your tr that trainer harder to defeat the next time you play. Earn all four stars to win a booster pack. But I only have three decks. We've given you three. Each time you win, you'll unlock a new card. Win seven times to unlock the whole deck. Each theme deck you redeem can be played in the trainer challenge mode. You can redeem some theme decks in the shop using trainer tokens, or you can redeem code cards from a theme deck you've purchased. Winning 12 games with a redeemed theme deck gives you a booster pack. Okay. And I need 500 tokens to get one of those. Well, Fuck me. I don't have that. Now that I know that, I can go back and redo all of these guys using all three decks. Or we can continue on seeing new decks. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Actually, I did earn a new pack today, so let's go ahead and pop it open and see what I get. Ooh. Umbreon V Max. All right. Single Strike evolves from Umbreon V. Well, now I need to get an Umbreon V. Nope, that's a Shyman V. Alright, well, hey. That is definitely something to look forward to. So. That will do it for us today. Uh, let me know what you want to see next time in uh, How Not to Play. Whether we go back and redo some of the old trainers with new decks or go on to see some new trainers with new decks. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.